Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Spring Concert, featuring the WPGA Jazz Band, Concert Band, Wolfgang Chamber Orchestra, and the Senior Orchestra at UBC's Frederick Wood Theatre. Before we begin, we wish to acknowledge that the Frederick Wood Theatre is situated within the unceded traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil nations, for whom music is and has been an essential part of the community and family sharing for thousands of years. We're excited to share our music with you this evening in a welcoming community setting. The ensembles have been working on repertoire for performance since the start of the second term. String players and band students worked on several of the selections at the Loon Lake Music Retreat in February, and the jazz band prepared some of the repertoire in time for an Arts Week performance as well as for tonight's show. Several of the performers on stage this evening also participated in the Clive Austin Solo Music Competition in February, and a number of wind players will collaborate with the Senior Orchestra this evening to accompany Justin Lee on the piece he performed for the competition. Mrs. Goddard will also be making presentations to these performers who obtained top honors in the competition. Please at this time mute and dim your phone and refrain from flash photography and filming during the concert or otherwise film some wings so you don't obstruct the view of other viewers. Um, the video, the concert is being professionally recorded and the edited recording will be available for downloading in the next few weeks. We're asking that you remain until the end of the concert out of respect for the performers. Student performers will be joining the audience when they're not on stage so that they can learn from and support the efforts of their peers. Thank you for practicing concert etiquette and staying in your seat while the performances are in progress. There will not be an intermission this evening, but members of the WPGA Student Service Council will have bottled water and snack items for sale in the theater lobby throughout the first hour of the concert. All proceeds will go towards Project Backpack. And there will also be short delays between stage changes when we would encourage you to purchase water, stretch your legs, visit the washroom, or say hello to your fellow audience members. Please be sure to consume food items in the lobby only but water is allowed in the theater audience. Finally, thank you for coming this evening. Thank you parents for supporting your music students and the WPGA Music Department. We hope you enjoy the concert. jazz band will begin with an up-tempo modal jazz classic by Miles Davis written in 1957 for the album of the same name, Milestones. The limited chord movement and emphasis on modal scale structures on this piece 
the first in the style, represents a landmark in jazz history. Listen for a melody that is neither major nor minor, and how improvisers are required to think melodically without falling back on changing chord structures. Cold Sweat is a number one R&B hit from 1967 by James Brown and his band leader, Alfred Pee Wee Ellis, sometimes considered the first ever funk song and one of the great funk classics by none other than the king of funk and godfather of soul. This composition is actually inspired by another modal Miles Davis tune, So What? Part of the melody for which can be heard in the trumpet line. Jive Samba was written in a Latin jazz style in 1963 by Nat Adderley, the brother of, Jack's, of jazz saxophone legend Julian Cannonball Adderley and coronet player in the Cannonball Adderley Quintet. Listen for how the melody of the tune starts with a tongue-in-cheek reference to a comical musical riff that was used to mark the punchlines of jokes, the jive part of the title. The band will finish with another R&B classic, Gimme Some Lovin', written by Steve Winwood in 1966 and performed by the Spencer Davis Group. This version features the horns playing the Hammond B3 organ riff on the opening, just like the Blues Brothers version you might be more familiar with. But don't worry, the bass line is as strong as in the original. We hope it gets your toe tapping.
Good evening, everyone. The concert band has prepared three festival level selections and a show tune medley for your enjoyment this evening. Written in 1957, Toccata for Band is a timeless band classic among several others written by Spokane, Washington resident Frank Erickson. Translated from Italian, Toccata means touch, a reference to a virtuoso piece of music that features fast moving virtuosic passages or sections, generally emphasizing the dexterity of the programmer's fingers. The main theme of the piece is in a minor mode, and the distinctive themes that follow divide up the piece into a memorable contrast of key changes, time signatures, tempos, and motivic treatment shared by all selections of the band. Commissioned for a high school band in 1955, uh, 1995, sorry, Mark Williams' Highbridge Excursions is written in two movements, both reminiscent of traditional folk music from the British Isles. Song of the Lake is in a slow, lyrical British folk song style, and Festive Dance features a rolling theme in same time. Listen how the Festive Dance also progresses in a style from the medieval and Renaissance sounds of the opening to a more complex clusters of sounds or modern polychords in the finale. A high, highly pro, uh, gr excuse me, a highly programmatic piece where the music invokes images in the mind of the listener. Our third selection, Heirs of Agincourt, was inspired by the famous victory in the 15th century of the English over the French and Agincourt in France. Melodies within the composition are intended to sound like old English songs that might have been sung, like, sung by King Henry's men, but are in fact original tunes written by Richard Mayer in the style of the time. Selections from Chicago is a medley of music from the hit Broadway show and mus musical and movie. Our grade 8 saxophonist, Eric Hughes, tells us it's a fun show and still running because he saw it on Broadway over spring break on vacation in Manhattan. Music from the musical harkens back to the early age of jazz and raucous lifestyle of the gangster era of Chicago. This arrangement opens with a bluesy trumpet solo and includes feature spots for all sections of the band as it winds through the, the hits from the show. Medallies include And All That Jazz, Cell Block Tango, Roxy, and they both reach for the gun. We hope you enjoy our selections.
Good evening, everyone. I'm Angie Goddard. I teach strings at WPGA. And um, I have the honor of presenting some awards right now for um, uh, successful participants in the Clive Austin Solo Music Competition. Um, as uh, the MCs announced earlier this evening, uh, that event happened in February. And uh, we had so many beautiful musicians. And what I love about that event is that um, the, all the musicians you see tonight, a lot of them take private lessons and a lot of them participate in music festivals and win awards for their solo playing. And so they do extra hours of practice to achieve these great feats of musicianship. And then at this event, the Clive Austin Solo Music Competition, they, they dazzle us uh, as soloists. Um, Tonight I'm going to award uh, the top winner and we have two gold um, award uh, checks to, to, part, to um, give out. And so I'm going to call Harold Wang and Adrian Lee. And I'd like to call out Justin Lee, uh, who was our Platinum Award winner, the highest honor to receive the Clive Austin Solo Music Competition trophy and trophy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adrian. Schubert's String Quartet, Death and the Maiden, number 14 in D minor, brings together two of the composer's extraordinary talents. Schubert composed melody and song exquisitely. The title, Death and the Maiden, comes from one of Schubert's earlier pieces, a song for voice and piano, in which a terror-stricken maiden begs death to pass her by. But death consoles her by saying, I am not rough, you shall sleep gently in my arms. Wolfgang Chamber Orchestra will play the first movement, which starts dramatically. Ensuing triplet rhythms in the viola and second violin section create the backdrop for a harrowing journey for the father taking his son on horseback through the woods. This journey is filled with sounds of fearful flight to evade death. Toward the end of the movement, death's shadow overtakes the girl, and the mu music becomes solemn and funereal. Please enjoy.
The orchestra will play the Adagio Vivace from Haydn Symphony No. 97 in C major. The slow, elegant opening creates a dreamy atmosphere. The dreaminess is interrupted by the Vivace section, which instantly rouses the listener. Triads in the key of C major are presented as a fanfare, alternating with a peasant-like melody. Enjoy the musical roller coaster ride offered by this great classical piece.
I'm Sam, and tonight we will finish off with the Flute Concertino in D Major, Opus 107. This was composed in 1902 by French composer Cécile Chaminade. 
Although she originally wrote the work for flute and piano, we will play Chaminade's later arrangement for flute and full orchestra. It was commissioned by the Paris Conservatoire in 1902, likely as an examination piece for flute students. We are excited to play this work tonight, featuring this year's Clive Austin Solo Music Competition Platinum Award winner, Justin Lee, on the flute. The band and strings are collaborating as a full orchestra to provide, provide a rich palette of instrumental colors to accompany the virtuosic flute part. Please welcome Justin Lee to play Constantino by Chaminade.
was over? No, no, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm a very lucky person because my name is Jason Parker and I'm the head of senior school and uh, in my world every kid shows up early, every kid stays late, every kid does their homework, every kid's dedicated and every kid's as talented as the kids you see on stage tonight and led of course by wonderful teachers. I was in the crowd and I reflected that I thought Angie Goddard had kidnapped some children and then I realized that we actually we have some members from the junior school here tonight. Do we not have kids from the junior school program? Who's, yes, we do, right? We have like five of them. Did she kidnap children? We just found out. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is your school. So if you're in the junior school, can you stand up right now? Junior school participants today. Yeah, give them a round of applause. I think your mom and dad are up there. Oh, you can sit down now. Uh, spring has sprung, and I know that because we've had two days without rain, kind of, uh, and, and music emanates uh, from the concert hall. I've had the pleasure of seeing Justin Lee in competitions. I've, I've seen him on stage, um, but um, uh, I found his performances most touching when they're in my lobby. Uh, and this is, this is what you get when you work in a school like this, is you get the gift of music, and it's continual. Uh, and all of the kids are like that. Um, so tonight they're transformed and they're musicians uh, here to perform for us, but uh, they're just mere mortals. You see them on Monday and on the sports courts and the science labs and they're wandering around the school and they're just kids. Um, but they manage to transform on a night like tonight and they also transform us. So I wanted you to uh, give a round of applause for all their talents. And certainly recognition for the countless hours they've put in uh, to perfecting their craft. This is the final, um, one, the final performance for not our jazz band, but for, for certainly our strings symphony and our concert band programs. And uh, we have the pleasure uh, tonight of uh, presenting to you some graduating musicians. And uh, we're going to call them to the front. You, you don't just stand, like if you can work your way through the crowd, we'll have you come right to the front. And um, I checked with five people. I'm absolutely petrified I'm going to miss one. But I did check with one senior, so if I don't have a complete list, it's his fault. Uh, so come to the front, uh, Sebastian Blameris, come on up. Just right in here. I'll give him a round of applause. Come on, sir. All right, buddy. Make some space out on down there. Rachel Jane, come on down. Come on down. All right, Rachel. Is Rachel here? Is she back there? Careful on the stairs, Rachel. We'll wait for you. Come on down. Uh, Tony, where are you, Tony Jane? Tony, come on down. Coming up, Rachel. Where's Tony? There he is. How you doing, buddy? It went quick, didn't it? Edward, where are you? Come on, Eddie. Uh, Cynthia Jen. Where are you, Cynthia? Come on up, Cynthia. Jenny, Gina, Jenny, where are you? You're here close, I saw you, come on up. Let's push on down, push on down again. I might fall off the edge here for you. Uh, I got Seb, I got Rachel, I got Tony, I got Edward, I got Cynthia, I got Jenny, and last but not least, Mr. Sam Anthony, come to the front, sir. Mom, dad, aunts, uncles, grandma, grandpa, family, family friends, uh, it's been a fantastic journey and it's been countless hours of dedication, countless hours of coming to these performances. Um, it's been a beautiful journey and these guys have dedicated their lives to it to entertain you. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Lovely. Um, uh, you may take your seats and Jenny and Sam if you can help me with some, some fruit juice. My lovely assistants will help me in a second. 
Um, please, uh, front and center, uh, Miss Frankie Lemon for assisting with preparing the string ensembles for performance and program design and serving as stage manager tonight. Round of applause for Frankie Lemon. Bring her to the front. By the time I finish working here, all you're going to have cool musical names like Kevin Smooth Fingers Jackson. Uh, Mr. Kevin Jackson playing trumpet and trombone with the jazz and concert bands. Please come on up, Mr. Jackson. Few words, but much praise for Miss Angie Goddard and Mr. Wayne Elmer for making tonight possible. Please give us down here. All right, folks, give them your best bow. Your best bow. There we go. Excellent. Um, so clearly a community performance with the with the musicians of across both schools, but a community performance in terms of what's happening tonight in the auditorium. So uh, a few people to thank. Technical coordination by Mighty. Um, and uh, Max Sample for facilitating um, audio and recording this evening. I think the gentlemen are back there. Round of applause for them, please. You may have noticed that Miss Margot Harms was at the door. She was coordinating, helping our students' art, arts councils as ushers. Uh, Miss Breslin was coordinating sales in the lobby by a student service council. Did you sell and eat the candies? Round of applause for Miss Harms and Miss Breslin. Uh, Mr. Jonathan Shaw on the maintenance team for transporting equipment, it's not light. Patrick Spence for coordinating our student transport for dress rehearsal. And for the Frederick Wood Theatre Technical and Front of House staff, thank you. And Mr. Wade Chan Kent for recording the concert. I saw you back there this evening, sir. And to all of you for coming. Everybody stand up. One final bow. There you go. I think that's it.